Hey community, we're back and I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community NP. And together we are B&B, the, the community, community NPs. So today we're going to be talking about uh, cervical cancer, what it is, how it's treated, what some of the prevention mm -hmm. options. Yeah. yeah, Some of the risk factors. Risk factors, okay. yeah. So just to give you guys a little information about cervical cancer. All right. An important thing that we'll be talking about is how to prevent it. Yes, yes, so. yes. Sir. So, B, what is cervical cancer? So, cervical cancer is the most common gynecological cancer in the United States. Yes. And then um, it has a lower incidence of mortality rates when compared to other cancers like uh, uterine cancer so, or ovarian, ovarian cancer. cancer. Yeah. I've um, had like a couple of patients who... Um, been diagnosed with probably cervical and ovarian cancer. Really? And I realized that those with ovarian cancer, sometimes it's deadly. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do a power. We're going to do a talk on ovarian cancer ovarian. at some point. Okay. okay. For sure. All right. Some of the risk factors mm -hmm. for HPV. So we'll push you at risk for HPV. Uh, nah, not for cervical cancer. My bad. Yeah. HPV puts you at risk, risk for, for cervical, cervical cancer. cancer. <laughs> yeah. So we'll push you at risk for cervical cancer. HPV, which is mm -hmm. the human papilloma virus, um, it's the most common cause of cervical cancer. So 99.7% of cervical cancers is due to HPV, which is human that's papilloma crazy. virus. And that's a sexual transmitted disease. Yeah. It is. And there's actually a uh, vaccine for it now. So yes, yes. I, I run into the issue with a lot of um, parents and kids trying to figure out you know, if they should give their child the HPV vaccine because it's recommended for both boys and girls. Yeah. Um, but a lot of parents are like, I don't know if I should do it. I know. But when it comes to, you know, them being at risk for developing mm -hmm. cervical cancer, cancer yeah. penile cancer, mm -hmm. um, even genital warts. Yeah. Like, it's so, scary. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand the importance of the vaccination. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that also. Yeah. Um, Another risk factor is having sex at an early age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, having multiple sexual partners, mm -hmm. of course, because especially if you have an unprotected sex. Right. If you have risky sexual behaviors. Yeah. That puts you at a greater risk. Not using protection or condom mm -hmm. or, you know, even oral sex. Yeah. Oral sex. Which is very popular these days. <laughs> um, but um, also early age of first birth. So having your first child younger than the age of 20. Mm -hmm. Or having, Look at me. I know, guilty, <laughs> uh, or having uh, multiple multiple children. Yeah. And then, of course, HIV also puts you at greater risk. risk. Because the immune system, you know, is compromised. Right. And anytime your immune system is compromised, it puts you at risk for increased infections. A yeah. Almost every kind of infection, yeah. including cancer. Yes. So some risk factors, uh, some other risk factors are being from a low socioeconomic status. And why is that? Because, probably because... They don't have the money to go uh, to have checkups. They don't have transportation. Mm -hmm. And then just their lack of knowledge about health. So that's why we're here. That is. So we're going to limit that lack of limited access to care. Right. That's yeah. our whole mission that's, and goal. That's our goal. Yeah, it's to do that. So, yeah. so next, I'm excited so, for so, us. But you know what? A lot of times, so when we, whenever we see risk factors and we see that, yeah. just know that that's our purpose. That's mm -hmm. our purpose. So we're going to be trying to... Get rid of that. Yes, because we yes. want everyone to be in the know. Yes. And we yes. want everybody to have access to, to care. care. Yes, yeah. yes. So, of course, people of color, yes. um, non-Hispanic, Blacks, African Americans, we're mm -hmm. higher risk. And I think that's also due to limited access and just lack of education. Mm -hmm. So, that's why we're here. Yes. Um, people who take oral contraception, um, they're at increased birth control. Mm -hmm. They're at increased risk for... Um, cervical cancer also and i think it's the, the um, hormones the hormones it's the estrogen and the progesterone yeah when you take it together yeah so maybe consider progesterone only yeah uh birth con or, yeah birth control. control okay cigarette smoking of course <laughs> And I'm surprised alcohol ain't on here. I know, I know, I know. And sometimes it's, it can be hereditary. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is probably the first PowerPoint we done did that doesn't have alcohol. Alcohol <laughs> and obesity. Yeah. yeah. So signs and symptoms. Some uh, sometimes there are no signs. There are no symptoms. You yeah. may just go in, get a pap, and then find out um, based on the results that you have cervical cancer. Irregular or heavy vaginal bleeding. Yeah. Um, post coital bleeding, so that's bleeding after you've had sex. What are the other vaginal discharge? Um, watery mucoid, uh, odorous discharge mm -hmm. can.
can cause um, mail order is discharged, can cause you to have, it can be a, a cause of um, cervical, a sign symptom of cervical cancer. Yeah. Okay, so how's it diagnosed? It can be diagnosed with a pap smear, HPV testing, and HPV testing usually starts after the age of 30 because in your 20s, a lot of times you will test positive for HPV, mm. but usually it goes away on its own. So um, usually that doesn't start until after 30, but that is a way to determine if you have mm. cervical cancer. And then if, if it's suspected, usually there will be a cervical biopsy or colposcopy um, and then imaging and studies, which like, yeah, is done more by OBGYN probably. Yeah, yeah. The primary care, that's out of our realm if you, to yeah. that point, yeah. And we're gonna send you to see a specialist if we suspect cancer, if any of your tests come back yes. positive, you're going to see a specialist. Yes, how do we prevent? How do we prevent? That is our goal, is it's, to teach the community yes. how to prevent things from happening. Prevent it. It's easy to prevent. Mm -hmm. Practice on safe sex. Using a condom. Um, using a... Uh, Abstinent. Yes. Not having <laughs> sex at all. Yeah. You know, um, getting a vaccine. Mm -hmm. The HP vaccine. I know that you mentioned that a lot of times the parents are hesitant about the kids getting a vaccine, but uh -huh. it helps. It and the them. age, the age of when you can get vaccine. At first, they had put a cutoff. I think it was like 25 or something, mm -hmm. but now even older people can get it. So, yeah. I would recommend. That's one vaccine that I re I recommend mm -hmm. because cervical cancer can be deadly. Yeah, and and, not, it, and, yeah. Not, and not just cervical cancer in the boys. Yeah, genital warts, mm -hmm. um, penile cancer, mm -hmm. like it can cause those problems. Yeah, and the HPV. It, did, did we mention that it can be transmitted sexually? Sexually, yeah. yeah it did. So. Yes, yes. Um, getting your Pap smear that can mm -hmm. prevent it. Also, getting your routine Pap smear. With your HPV testing, mm -hmm. they can detect it and that can prevent it also. Because if they catch it early, you know it's treatable. Right. They, I mean, it's it, they can treat it. So yeah, and you're less likely to have to go yeah. through like surgery and, and yep. or and or die from it. Okay, so let's talk about some treatments. There's not many treatments, um, as far as like medications that you can take right. to cure cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. Surgery is one mm -hmm. of them. Some people may have to have a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. um, Which means you can't have kids. Yes. yes. So that's what, another reason why it's important for kids to get the vaccine. Yeah. You know, because we don't want that to happen. Right. Okay? Yeah. That's that's drastic. Sometimes they have to do a comb biopsy, which remo try to remove the cervical cancer mm -hmm. that way. And radiation therapy. Yeah. And that may put you at risk for infertility, not being able to have right. kids yeah. also. That's true. So, yeah. So... That's really in a nutshell with cervical cancer, you guys. It's preventable. So right. abstinence, practice and safe sex. If you having sex with somebody who has risky behavior, wear a condom. Yeah. Even oral condoms. Like yeah. no, I'm serious <laughs> yeah. because know, you know, but... a lot of these kids are having oral sex mm -hmm. and they think they can't get diseases from oral sex. Yeah. And that's not true. I remember I had a patient, um, had a, like a little um a, like a little bump on the back of her, um, her uvula. The little part that hangs out mm -hmm, in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. And you know, I sent her to ENT, they did a biopsy. Guess what? It was HPV. Oh my gosh. HPV. That's awful. Yes. It was a, a you know, it was HPV. Yeah. So. Ugh. Yikes. So it, it's, people need to know mm -hmm. that it can happen. That's true. So, you know, we always want you guys to see your primary care provider, yes. um, and, or whatever specialist that you need to see. This information is just information to educate you. Yes. It does not replace you going to see your primary care provider mm -hmm. or whatever provider that you see. It's just information. Yes, yes. So this is a conversation. It's a spark of conversation between family, friends, mm -hmm. you know, whoever. Yeah. yeah. So And then also just so that you're more informed, you know about these things. You know what your risk factors are, and hopefully it encourages yes. you to make lifestyle changes. Yes, yes. Okay. But, yeah. So, what do you, what do we want you guys to do for us? What do we want to do? Oh, we want them to follow us. <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, and YouTube. Subscribe mm -hmm. to our channel. Um, Please like and share also, yes. okay? Yes. How could I forget that? I don't know, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Let's get back to work. <laughs> I mean. uh, yeah, and remember that community, community is, is our, our beauty. beauty. Have a great day, y'all. <laughs>